This is public housing, New York City. The ghetto, my boys say about where they lived. The five bigger sons we've raised after meeting them on a blacktop baseball field in the summer of 1998. That's my book, What Else But Home? Seven Boys in an American Journey Between the Projects and the Penthouse. These are the projects. Our penthouse is over there, a few blocks away. Some of our sons were here till we met them and they eventually moved in. The others grew up in nearby projects or in mutual housing. That's less daunting. Take a look. This is Avenue D, bodegas and pawn shops, check cashing stores. The Salvation Army runs a thrift store a couple blocks down. Not too many bookstores, not too many fresh vegetables, not too many laptop repair shops. 420,000 people live in public housing. That's a good thing. People need homes and there are too few. Our police department has its own housing bureau. Officers assigned only to public housing, patrolling the sidewalks and yards, but also inside the buildings, the lobbies, elevators, hallways, stairways, the roofs. I don't know. I'm used to police on the street, in their cars. I'm not used to them patrolling down the hallway of my home. Kids are smart. They know what things mean. Carlos says dogs and people pee in the elevators. Where Kindu's family lives, someone shoved a sofa into the elevator, pressed the button for every floor, and set it on fire. There are 23 floors. People don't seem to do that on Fifth Avenue, in some building on Central Park where the doormen wear fancy uniforms and white gloves. Here, the schools aren't good either. Teachers try. It's not like there are villains. People do try. But we vilify people, usually the victims. Poverty is crushing and complex. There's hope. That's what my book is about. What Else But Home, Seven Boys in an American Journey Between the Projects and the Penthouse.